out on NITV from our Abuja studios in Nigeria. I am Grace Ukut. On this edition, National Assembly passes 2010 budget. This and other stories coming up. Can we finally say, in all honesty, based on the all of office we are taking as parliamentary and parliamentarian, that what happened in Peru, based on the report so far, can be said to be democratic? No! no. no. The National Assembly has passed the 2010 budget. Meanwhile, in the House of Representatives, plenary opened with a consideration and finally approval of the report of the Joint Committee on Appropriations and Finance. Honorable Ayo Ade Adesheu, chairman of the committee, presented the report, which put the 2010 total budget at over 4 trillion naira. Do receive and consider the report of the Joint Committee on Appropriations and Finance on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation, the total sum of 4 trillion 608 billion 616 million. 278,213 Naira only. A motion was later moved for the House to go into Committee on Supply to consider the 2010 Appropriation Bill clause by clause, as chaired by the Speaker of the House and his Deputy. Statutory transfer. Statutory transfer. It says National Judicial Council 91 billion. Is that carried? Niger Delta Development Commission. Third. Is that carried? NDDC arrears of share of excess crude distributed in 2009. Universal Basic Education. Is that carried? Right, we have debt service. To hold on. Total debt service is 497 billion, 71 million, 797 1,452. Is that carried? While the consideration was going on, Honorable Abdul Ningi made an observation on the special fund account in number 5 of the report. Special fund account. Number 5. The Accountant General of the Federation shall immediately, upon the coming into force of this Act, create an account in the Central Bank of Nigeria for all monies accruing into the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the federal government from the special funds impounded by executive order of the president of the federal republic of nigeria is that carried okay i'm also agreeing that this is the first time i've seen this honorable uh, former leader of the house uh, yeah mr chairman i I don't seem I don't seem to understand the intention of this particular subject. I thought whatever account that is uh, supposed to be created is already created in existence. in existence. So you are creating an account and you are asking of a executive order. I don't understand what it is. Members called for the deletion of the special fund account section for its ambiguity and executive absoluteness. Speaker of the House, Dimeji Bankoli, later read a summary of the report as considered by the Committee on Supply. Considered the report on Joint Committee on Appropriations of Finance on the 2010 Appropriation Bill and approved the Schedule Part A, B, C and D, approved Clauses 1 to 4, rejected Clause 5, amended Clause 6 sub 1, approved Clause 7 to 12 and the long title. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those against the name. Aye, Zabit. Meanwhile, after Adeshion's presentation of the report, Independence Ogunewe raised a point of order. With displeasure, he fervently expressed disagreement over his exclusion from the meeting of the Joint Committee on Appropriations and Finance, and that put the House in disarray. I am a bona fide member of the Appropriations Committee, and I want the whole Nigerians to know but as a member of that committee, I was not informed, neither was I invited to a meeting. It's to very know simple. How this budget was arrived at. 
Um, Honourable, independence suspension time had elapsed a long time ago, so it doesn't apply in this case. However, please, as a simple as that, okay? Okay? Okay, right. Honourable colleagues, on the issue, on the issue of... Honourable leader, please, please. Leader, please. Leader, please. So, like I said, on this occasion, it does not, it doesn't apply to honourable independence. The suspension time had elapsed long time ago. Now, now, honourable, please, please, honourable chairman, committee on appropriation. Can you please clarify the situation as far as he's concerned and the order that he has raised? The issue was thereafter resolved when Adesho explained the reason for Gunnewe's exclusion. There, there are 40 members of the Committee of Appropriations. Sir. The committee met to consider this and we approved before we have actually commenced detailed work with the Senate. Uh, and I know members here are seated to bear me out on same, sir. So we met, we did what had to be done. Of course, the uh, independence was not there. According to our records, his name was not the one on our list of members of our preparation. It's uh, on the Ubefe Amadi. That's, that, that's the man we would ordinarily invite to such meetings. Uh. But I know he was a member of our, of, our, of our committee. But now that we have gotten clarification that that suspension issue uh, is a stand back. In another development, the Deputy Speaker Honorable Usman Bayero Nafada presented a report highlighting recommendations of the Committee on the Amendment of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of which over 60 sections were amended stipulated the period of elections, provision of a Deputy Chairman of INEC, and the autonomy of the Independent National Electoral Commission. I leave you with the highlights as I sign off on this edition of House Report. Thanks for logging on. 5, 106, 131 and section 177. Uh, that is, they have been altered to accommodate the independent candidature. By our recommendation, Mr. Speaker, the House may wish to uh, prove that uh, there should be in our first uh, coming election an independent candidature make the provision for the inclusion of the Independent National Electoral Commission, the National Assembly, and the State Houses Assembly to be for the payment in the Consolidated Revenue Fund, that is for these three to be independent financially. A minimum of diploma or its equivalent for the membership of National Assembly. And it is also a qualification if you are or you were a member of the National Assembly. If you are a member or you are the, or you are a member of the National Assembly, that has qualified you even without that uh, diploma or it, or, or it equivalent. The, the National Assembly will automatically, after 21 days, move a motion to uh, give the Vice President the powers to be acting president. For the issues arising from election for governors, Governors, the primary court will be, or the uh, initial court will be the court of appeal for governors, just like that of the president. They start from the court of appeal and terminate at the Supreme Court. We have uh, suggested that uh, instead of uh, 60 days or 30, 30, not later than 30 days, that provision has been altered and we have put it as... Uh, uh, 150 days before the termination of, your, of the office or not later than 120 days before the termination of that office. So election must be held latest 120 days before the termination of that uh, office. A provision for the, post of deputy, for the post of deputy chairman who shall, be of, who shall not be of the same gender, that is the INEC chairman. There shall be a deputy chairman who shall not be of the same gender. That is, if we have a man as chairman of INEC, then the deputy chairman 
uh, under no circumstances should be also a man. It has to be a woman that is in charge.